Them shrimp was so good. Them shrimp is G-double-O-D good. Y'all wanna bite? I wanna taste, I wanna taste, I wanna taste, I wanna taste. It's your boy Benji Assens, and you know I'm back with another video. In today's video, I will be making a hot pot, y'all. Yes, I'm gonna be doing a hot pot. And my hot pot, well, let's see what we have here. We have, I'm wasting stuff everywhere. Let's see what we have. We have some onion. We have Asian baby cabbage. We have enoki mushrooms, green onions, fresh cut garlic, and baby bok choy. And over here, this is thinly sliced beef ribeye. These are some shrimp that I just cleaned and butterfly. And we also have some ramen noodles that we are gonna be cooking on our pot. Ugh, making a mess already. So what I'm gonna do right now to get started is I'm going to start warming up our water. And you all, I will come back in a few minutes once this water starts boiling, all right? All right, y'all, your boy's back, so let's get this party started. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to season my water. I'm gonna season my water with uh, Better Than Bouillon. Now, if you all don't know who Lisa D. Delice is, she is a, a chef here on YouTube. She has an amazing channel. Like, everything on Lisa's channel looks good. Like, I get hungry every time I go to her channel. So I was watching one of her videos and she mentioned this Better Than Bouillon seasoning. And I've been hooked ever since. Like, I have like every flavor. This one right here is called uh, seasoned vegetable. And this one is roasted chicken. So I'm going to season the water for my hot pot with the roasted chicken base, better than bouillon, and also the vegetable one. And you can see, this is what I'm gonna be using. Y'all see that? Okay. Now, this stuff is like, super salty. So you definitely do not want to put too much. I'm gonna do, I did like five bottles of water, so I'm gonna do a teaspoon of each. So this one right here is the roasted chicken base. And I'm also gonna do a teaspoon of the seasoned vegetable base. So I'm doing chicken and I'm doing vegetable. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper to my broth. I like it a little bit spicy, so I'll put my cayenne pepper. I'm gonna do a little bit of black pepper. I have garlic powder. Garlic powder. Onion powder. Mm, ain't that much onion powder in there.
You all, I'm gonna get like another cup so that I can taste this broth to see if it's seasoned to my liking, okay? So, actually what I can do is, It needs a little bit more chicken broth. I'm gonna do two more teaspoons of the roasted chicken base better than bouillon because it's not salty as I would like it. So I'm gonna do two more teaspoons of this and that should do it. And so y'all can see how it looks, the consistency. Y'all see that? Okay, so now that I've seasoned my water, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some onions. Y'all see these onions? So this is like a yellow onion that I've just sliced. Y'all see? I'm gonna add some fresh green onion. This is green onion. I'm gonna add some fresh garlic that I just cut up. <laughs> I'm gonna add some baby Asian cabbage. These right here, they're called enoki mushrooms. I'm gonna add some enoki mushrooms. This is baby bok choy. And it is so good. I absolutely love baby bok choy. You can get it in your Asian market. That's where I get it from. It's just a green, see, baby bok choy. And the bok choy cooks like really fast. All this stuff is super quick. It won't take you a long time to cook at all, which is why I like it. Now I do have some ramen that I'm gonna break up inside of my broth with my vegetables. But the ramen, you know, it can tend to get like really soggy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the ramen in closer to the time for my meat to get done so that my ramen won't be too soggy, all right? I want to give you all a closer picture of what this is looking like. So let's see. That's what it's looking like so far. I got this at like a Mexican supermarket. It wasn't like cheap, but it wasn't super expensive. I think I paid like 26 or 27 dollars for it. It's a really pretty bottle. And it feels like really expensive. The logo and stuff, it's like metal. So I hope I don't get this on everything because every time I pop a bottle, it be getting everywhere and overflowing. And I really hate when it be overflowing. I hate taking the corks out. The corks be scaring me, I ain't even gonna lie. The pop, I'll be scared it's going to pop me in the eye. I'm going to put this towel over it just in case. So we did good that time. Oh, shit. Y'all know my ass going to pour a big old ghetto glass. I know you ain't supposed to do no champagne or wine like that. And I got the wrong glass for this, actually. I have some champagne flutes over there. 
but this was closer to me, so I just grabbed this. Okay, so what I want to do now, y'all, is I want to put some butter. This is whipped butter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to butter my grill. You know what? I should have put a little bit of butter in my um, water. I don't know why, but I'm, I just think I'm going to do that. I just love me some butter. <laughs> Let's put some butter in there in that broth. Make it decadent and nasty. I don't know why I said that. I'm gonna put some on my grill too. Mmm, get it all good and buttery. Ooh, yeah. Get it all good and slippery. I don't know why this is so much fun to me. Like, I'm just sitting here by myself. I think that this is like so intimate though. I don't know if I said that in another video. This would be like so cool if you had like a significant other or you were on a date and y'all were sitting down doing this. Like, I think that would be like so dope. So what are we gonna do first? I don't know if I wanna do shrimp or beef first. Let's do a few shrimp. So I got my shrimp on ice. One, two, three, four. I think I might want to do six initially. One, two, three, four, five. So the six shrimp and the butter. What do I want on my shrimp, man? I just want a little black pepper. This salt. You know, I love when I go into like Marshalls and they have like these specialty spices and stuff. This right here is salt, garlic, and chili. And it tastes so good. I think it was like $5.99 out of like Marshall's. It already has the garlic in there. It is. Um, let's see, what do I want? I'm gonna do a little onion powder. I'm trying to think, what else do I need? My tongue. Uh-oh, one of them fell in the water. That's okay, I guess it'll boil, right? Recently, I've been checking out like a few content creators. Even if I don't mess with them, I'll still watch some of their videos. Like I check out Silas' videos. I check out um, Wanda Whitley's videos. And maybe like a week ago, I was on Wanda's panel and she was talking about a content creator who I had never even heard of before. The channel was uh, Junior Chronicles, but I really didn't know who Wanda was talking about until yesterday. But I was watching her video and she was going in on this woman. She was disrespecting this woman so bad. She was saying how it was messed up that this lady who was supposed to be taking care of her father really wasn't taking care of him. In the video, she was mad because she said that Every time it's time for this woman's birthday to come up, that the woman goes all out. But when it comes to her father, she doesn't like really go all out for his birthday. Like he might not get a cake, he might not do this, he might not do that. But I didn't realize until I went to the woman's page that the woman intentionally does like certain things or says some certain things in front of her father so that she can evoke a response from him because people think that he's hilarious. So I don't know if Wanda knew that or not, or Wanda took it as like, this is how she's really treating this man. I believe the lady's name is Terry. When I tell you this lady snap, the lady's name is Terry and her YouTube channel is called Junior Chronicles. That lady talked about Wanda so bad. She told Wanda she had one teeth dangling in her mouth. She talked about Wanda's 10 by 10 trailer. She told Wanda that everything, all her jewelry would like to come from like, I, I don't, don't quote me. I think she said the 99 cent store, but Wanda was not ready. And to be honest with you, I would be upset too, because like the thing about me is you always see me with my mother 
you don't really see me with my, well, you never see me with my father because my parents were married for 27 years, but my father died back in 2005. But yeah, they were married for 27 years. I grew up in a house with both parents. But if somebody was like saying that I was being disrespectful or not treating one of my parents right, and I know that I'm doing everything possible to make sure they have everything they need, I would be pissed off too. I really would be. Sometimes we as content creators don't have nothing to talk about. So we just will choose anything. And I try not to do that. That's why y'all don't see me a lot. I try to only come on here when I have things to really talk about. Um, now I know there was a time where Wanda was like talking about Regine and Ormond all the time. And I'm like, to each his own. But I'm old enough to be Regine's damn daddy. I think me and Lil Wayne is only maybe, he's only like maybe a year or two years older than me. Um, and I'm about to sit up here and talk about Regine, this little girl. She's a little girl to me. Like, Regine and Armand's relationship. It ain't that serious to me. But like I said, to each his own. How Melissa say? Lemon rain? And that's what Melissa say, y'all? She say lemon rain? <laughs> that sounds so nasty. Like, lemon rain. Let me quit. Let me quit. Let me quit. Lemon rain. Coming from a woman, it's like, you want my lemon rain? Like, you want my lemon rain? It kind of sounds like lemon rain pie, or maybe I'm just greedy. These shrimp is probably cooked, but I like everything done. I ain't trying to get sick. I like to have them little grill marks on them too, you know? Mm -hmm. I think they done enough. It's weird to me when people have physical things wrong with them. And I'm not saying nothing bad about Wanda, even though she and I have had our differences. But, you know, look at Wanda's hair, look at her teeth, the body. And it just like blows my mind that she be feeling so strongly about stuff. Like she be having so much to say about people when you're like an easy target. Like that blows my mind when I see people who are easy targets who have so much to say about people. Terry was not having no parts of it. And everything Terry was saying was the truth. That's the cold part about it. Like everything she was saying was like the truth. There was no lies told. That's is worse than the friend zone talking about Adrian calling her 60. The friend zone, maybe you take better care of your hygiene, but physically you are no better. So to call this lady 60, to talk about her feet, her hair, and all this stuff, it's like, you don't really have any room to talk. Like, you don't. Like, I don't know who fooled you. I don't know if your man told you that you look good because he needs a place to stay. Because, um, you know, niggas will do that. They'll, they'll, they'll sweet talk and tell you anything you want to hear, especially since he said that you was the breadwinner. But the reality is, I believe that when most people look at you, no, you're not just terribly ugly. You're not just like, oh, my God, that's a booger wolf. It's not that. But you're not like no girl that people just look at and be like, oh, she just doesn't. Okay, that's not going on. You ain't that. So for you to talk about this lady the way that you talk about her is giving obsession. It's still giving crazy. Of course, people are going to tune in because people is with the bullshit. Don't be mistaken. Nobody's jealous of your channel. You have 7,000 subscribers, but you get the same views as me. You get the same views as Melissa. You get the same views as the connection rejection. With 7,000 subscribers, your videos should be getting like 10,000 views. Yeah, you should be getting like 10,000 views, 8,000 views. Your videos are doing... Mm -mm. Okay, y'all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some ramen noodles to my broth. And I'm going to get some beef going. So let me put some more butter on my grill. This rib eye is like the business. I'm just in love with it. It's so good. I love cooking this. 
Y'all see this? It's ribeye. With the ribeye, we're not gonna do too much because it's already like a really good uh, cut of meat. So I'm just gonna do black pepper. We already got the salted butter on there. So we're gonna do black pepper. And let's see, we're gonna do the salt, garlic, and chili. I'm trying to find that one shrimp that fell off in this water. I want to see, did it cook already? I can't find it, it's in there somewhere. I guess when I dip this out, I'll get some, right? So you all, I don't know how many of you saw my video when I went to Dallas and I did the indoor skydiving. In that video, I introduced you all to my cousin, Monique. She and I grew up like brother and sister. She's two years older than me. And you all saw Aiden, which is, he's technically my cousin, but he's like my nephew because, um, like I come from like a really, big family so i have a huge family so on my mom's side i mean i have a i have a huge family on both sides but on my mom's side there was five girls and two boys so in the video that you all saw when i went to dallas you saw one of my mom's sisters um her name's vivian and you saw monique which was vivian's daughter so for a long time as we when we grew up me and monique um, my aunt didn't have any more kids and my mom didn't have any more kids other than me, um, even though we came from a huge family. So there was times where me and Monique actually like lived together. When I say that we were like brother and sister, we were like literally like brother and sister. But when Monique turned 11 and I was nine, her mother got pregnant and had a son named CJ. So when you see Aiden, the little boy in my video, Aiden is CJ's son. So, but because me, Monique, and CJ grew up as brother and sister, Aiden is more like a nephew to me than a little cousin. So that's why I refer to him as my nephew because the three of us are literally like brother and sister. So I don't know how I got myself into this situation, but, oh, excuse me. Um, I told CJ that next month in September that we were gonna go skydiving. And he's like totally a daredevil. He's amped about it. But honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, like I've been having like anxiety. I've been having like panic attacks. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm still gonna pay for him to do it. And I think that I am because I don't like being scared. Like I don't like having fears. So I think that I am gonna make myself do it. But man, like it's really been on my mind. So anyway, when I go skydiving, if I go skydiving, you all will meet uh, CJ because he's gonna go with me. We plan on flying to either Florida or Arizona to go skydiving. So I don't know because I'm really nervous about it. I think I watched too many videos. I shouldn't have watched, I watched this one video where they jumped out the plane and they had to use the reserve chute and I'm not scared to jump out the plane. I just don't want that to be the way that I leave the earth. And even though the statistics show that, you know, the chances of something happening are slim to none, it's just like, man, I got to put my life in somebody else's hands. And that's what I'm having an issue with.
it's good though, y'all. That bok choy is so delicious. Mmm. Look at that meat, y'all. It's like paper thin. It's such a good cut. It's ribeye. Until the next video, loving your friends, your family members, and remain safe. And with that being said, I'm out.